What's going on guys? Hulu here back with Profound Image Consulting and in today's videos we're talking about men's fall essentials and in my opinion what you're needing in your closet this fall season of 2020. So if you're ready and that sounds interesting to you, let's dive into it guys. So you would not believe how many times you're gonna find yourself reaching for this shirt in your closet. So basically the Henley is the older brother of the t-shirt. It's the polo minus the collar. And it has about two to three to five buttons at the most. And in my opinion, it's a great item to have. The reason being is it makes for a great transition piece when you're going from the summer to autumn to fall even. And the price point of the Henley does vary depending on what brand you do go with, but you'll find that it's very inexpensive. And the great thing about the long sleeve Henley is that they're so versatile. They can be worn just as is. You can roll up the sleeves for a warmer afternoon. You can even play around with the buttons that you choose to have undone just for that extra sex appeal. The great thing about a long sleeve Henley as well is that they're great for layering in. You can layer them in with a nice blazer. You can even layer them in with a nice leather jacket as well. Overall, the long sleeve Henley is a great item to have. So make sure if you don't already have one in your wardrobe, you go out and get one. It's gonna be something that steps up your game. All right, so the second item on this list is dark denim. So we all know that jeans come in all sorts of different washes. In today's video, for the fall, in my opinion, dark denim, dark wash jeans are gonna be the way to go, guys. The great thing about dark denim, dark wash jeans is that they go well with any body type. You can have skinny legs, you can have really built-in legs, and they're gonna go really well with you. Now it's important to note that dark denim comes in all different types of sizes. I personally opt out of skinny jeans, that's just not my cup of tea. I prefer a slim fit. Um, for bigger guys, I always recommend going a straight fit. Um, however, it's personal preference. If you really, really have skinny legs and maybe you just like the skin type feel on jeans, then by all means go for it guys. And just a quick plus guys, if you find dark denim that does have a stretch material built in the design already in it, then I would opt in as it is a lot more comforting. I just personally like dark denim because I find that you can easily dress it down, you can easily dress it up as well. When it comes to what you can pair the dark denim with, the sky's the limit. They go great with some white sneakers, they go well with some nice boots. When it comes to outerwear, you can pair them with a nice leather jacket, or you can even choose to pair them up with a nice button down shirt. So for this fall season, make sure you ditch the light wash jeans. Those are for the spring. Bring out the dark denim, guys. All right, so number three on the list, guys, we're talking about the lightweight sweater. There is no fall season, in my opinion, when you're not bringing out the lightweight sweater. All right, so they come in all sorts of different sizes and fabrics. But to stick to my point, I want to mention the lightweight sweater in general. The reason being is that not only is it really versatile, but it just makes really great for layering, especially when you're layering in or on top of. You can throw a blazer on top of the lightweight sweater for a cooler night. Uh, this looks great for a business casual setting as well. If you have a v-neck sweater, you can throw on a t-shirt underneath that sweater to give it a much more cool social vibe. Overall, the lightweight sweater is a great option to have this fall season for 2020. Uh, but one of the things that I would highlight of this particular item is the texture of it. Make sure that the texture of the sweater is right as this is gonna add a lot more depth to your look. Number four on the list, guys, is the leather jacket. All right, be warned, guys, not everyone can rock this look easily. You have to be able to own the jacket and not let the jacket own you. A nice fitted leather jacket is great for layering on top of just about anything. Now, if this is your first time buying a leather jacket or you're in the market for a leather jacket, I would opt for a cheaper type of leather material just so you can have some time to play with that item. Um, once you do get comfortable in finding your style, then I would definitely invest in actually buying a higher quality leather so that it can actually last you a lifetime. So if you want that badass Americana type of style, then go ahead and try out the leather jacket, guys. All right, number five on the list, guys, is the chuck -a boot 
So if you're in the market or you want a booth that's casual in style but can also be dressed up, then the Chuckle Boot is for you. These are a classic British style boot that work well with just about any outfit during the fall. Uh, they usually come in a suede material or you also find them in a leather material as well. Now, these boots are seamless. There's a lot of variations, but the classic chuck -a boot usually comes in, like I said, a suede or a leather. The suede material you can easily wear with a nice pair of slim jeans and the leather material you can wear or even test it with a suit. The possibilities are endless with the chuck -a boot Just make sure that when you're in the market, for them or you're ready to purchase that you are buying a higher grade material just so they break in very nicely and it takes time to do that not to mention that they're going to age really well and this will build character down the line and it's just going to be overall great for you all right the sixth thing that we got on this list is the quarter zip sweater all right let's be honest guys sometimes the basic crew neck sweater gets a bit played out so my solution for this is the quarter zip sweater this sweater is super versatile and flexible when it comes to dressing it up and dressing it down you can wear it for practical reasons. You can even wear it for stylish reasons if you're wanting to build up your look. When you're in the market for the quarter zip sweater, make sure that when you are buying one, don't expect to buy something like this and have a lot of taper around the waist. Naturally, the quarter zip sweater is a little bit more boxy, but it does come in different variations. So just be cautious that when you are looking for one that you're not expecting too much when it comes to that slim line taper look. Now this sweater is really great when it comes to being flexible, the reason being on a great Saturday morning when you're out running errands, you can throw this bad boy on, you can layer it, you can throw on a white v-neck underneath if you're wanting to go for a much more dressier type of look. You can even layer it on top of a nice button down shirt. So go ahead and give it a try guys. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of that look. Alright, so there's two more to go. Number seven on the list we have is the wool pants. Now aside from being the middle ground between the jeans and the chinos, the wool pants is something that every man should have in his wardrobe this fall season. The reason being is that they can be worn pretty much. They go great with a nice button down shirt. They go great with a nice sweater. They can go great with a coat. Oh, they can even go great with a t-shirt. Basically anything that's essential in your closet right now, you can pair it with wool pants. There are some key colors that you want to pay attention to when you are out shopping for the wool pant. Uh, you do have the classic charcoal wool pant. You also have the color of navy. You can even go with black as well. Either color though, whatever color you decide to go with, if you get any of those three, you're probably not going to be disappointed. As far as fit goes with these pants, guys, the fit is pretty much the same across the board. You have the standard fit, then you have the slim fit. Of course, if you're able to go with the slim fit, the only thing I would suggest and make sure that you guys are not doing is pleating your pants. All right, and the last item I got for you guys today is the lightweight hoodie. Now, before you click off this video prematurely, hear me out. Hoodies, in my opinion, are something that are really misunderstood. A lot of guys think that they're not fashionable, that they're not stylish for whatever reason. In my opinion, it just comes down to fit. When you're looking at a hoodie, you are often looking at most hoodies being boxy. They're just straight. But if you're looking for the stylish look, that fashionable look, make sure that you're going for a more slimmer taper type of material that is going to give it that more stylish look that you're actually wanting. In my opinion, we all have the days where we prefer comfort over aesthetic and then aesthetic over comfort. It doesn't mean that you can't have the best of both worlds. So when we talk about the lightweight hoodie, oftentimes, we look at the boxy type of look that a hoodie gives and we think lazy, we think lounging. And then we look at the slimmer type of hoodie and we think stylish, we think of fashionable. So how do you get the best of both worlds? Simple, just look for a hoodie that has a slimmer type of material that's gonna give that stylish look and avoid anything that looks boxy that's gonna give that loungy look. When it does get colder, when you wanna start experimenting with layering, you can easily start layering the lightweight hoodie with a nice jacket or even a coat. With either layer combination I just mentioned, I'm sure you're gonna find that it's not a disappointing look. All right guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, also, if you're someone that needs more help when it comes to their style and image and you want some unbiased advice, Links are down below for a free style consultation you can take up on. Uh, there's also uh, links down below for virtual services that I offer as well. 
Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.